There's a deeply disturbing trend to report in the district. Another child is the victim of gun violence. This time, it's a 12-year-old boy hit by a stray bullet in a shootout on Pond Street in Northeast. Police Chief Peter Newsham calling for a stop to this senseless violence. Meanwhile, the search is on for the shooter, and John Gonzalez is following the investigation for us. Well, that's right, this boy fighting for his life at this hour and not a good trend. The third child to be struck by a stray bullet in D.C. so far this year. And when D.C. police and paramedics arrived here in Northeast yesterday, they found that 12-year-old boy unresponsive outside here near his home. And you can see at this hour, police still have Pond Street closed off. This is close to the Kenilworth Recreation Center and Pool. And the police chief making it very clear this was not a single gun incident. There were multiple weapons out here last night. He's not sure if there was an exchange of gunfire, but bullets definitely came from different guns. And our video indicates that our camera capturing 48 evidence markers, most of those for shell casings, at least one car window blown out. The boy rushed to the hospital in critical condition at this hour. And we had a kid, a little, a little baby over at the bus stop, uh, Minnesota, Pennsylvania. Uh, we had a six-year-old the other night who was in the back seat of a car uh, 2400 block of Alabama and now we have a 12 year old kid uh, who should be out uh, or at home enjoying his evening uh, and he's one at one of our local hospitals uh, struggling because he's been shot it's just it's got to stop neighbors tell ABC 7 news that they also heard gunshots around the same time the night before Wednesday night authorities are asking for the public to be on the lookout for a silver vehicle with at least four people inside Police saying one person wearing an orange hoodie here last night. In Northeast Washington, John Gonzalez, ABC 7 News.